You know those days where it's gloriously sunny and you couldn't imagine being anywhere else in the world? This isn't one of those days. It's grey, it's drab, and there's a bit of a wind. It's just not very August like, to be honest. But never mind. Back in those heady days of pre-lockdown, I did a short video on this kayak and what it was like and why I bought it. But it was only a dry video, I didn't take it out on the water. And I promised that I would do a part two and get it out on the water. But the weather was bad, it wasn't great to do videoing, and lockdown came. So I never actually got around to doing part two. Part one finished with me promising to get it out on the water. So finally, that's what I've been able to do. So I'll talk through the boat, test it out, see whether the things that I bought it for are genuine advantages or whether it's just a, another fishing kayak, no different from anything else on the market. If you've seen the first part, remember that my previous boat was a Ocean Kayak 4.3 Ultra. Very nice kayak, really very good fishing platform indeed. But the first thing that I can tell about this is it's definitely quicker and easier to paddle. I don't think the rudder is as good. Having said that, I've not been able to fix the toe pedals on it. Uh, I've just got them running through to connect to the uh, foot, foot paddles. So maybe that would make a difference, but it just feels a little bit less responsive. The next thing to notice, I think, is that this seems to be a drier ride. Right now there's not very much wind, but there's a little bit, and it's a headwind, so I'm paddling straight into it as well as into the waves. And I don't think I'm getting as much spray into the kayak as I was previously. 4.3 Ultra was a very good design. Uh, it got a very shaped front. Uh, the bow was designed to throw water away from the top. And that worked really well because there is a hatch further forward on the Ultra. It did work very well. It did deflect water away from the top of the bow, but it kicked off more spray. And that, I think, flicked into my face and onto the seating area a little bit more. Don't seem to have this problem. So a slightly dry ride is always nice, mind you. If you're worried about getting wet, I'm not sure kayak fishing is really the sport for you. I think if you get caught crosswind or cross the tide, this feels slightly more tippy. But nothing major. I really wouldn't worry about it. And it still cuts through the water nicely. You've still got good stability. I have stood up in it, but only on a river. But it felt fine. I've stood up a fish from it, so it's usually a good sign. Now the wind's picking up a little bit now. So what are we doing? I'm not trying too hard. I'm going against the tide and against the wind, and I'm still doing. Yeah, about three and a half, three and a half knots, so that's pretty quick. If I really gunned it, I'd probably get a fair more out of it, but I do want to have some energy to be able to fish with. But it's a very easy paddle. Now we're in about 55 feet of water, 54, 55 feet of water, um, and I'm looking for flat open ground. I want to have a go at a few rays, see whether we can't pull a ray up. There are usually a few around. The other reason is I found that the further you get away from the reef here, well, the less likely it is that you'll get dogfish. I'm just hoping, hoping that I can stay away from them. Oh, bait fish moving through. Try and pick up some macarons and feathers as well. And it started to rain. Gotta love August in Britain. Yeah, this will do. Time to get the anchor down, get some bait in the water. Uh. 
Uh, I'll have to apologise for the spots on the lens, but it is... I'm into my first finish and it feels pretty decent. Could be right. It's coming up slowly, that's for sure. Ah, it just feels dead now. Kicking to start with. Ah, oh, it's a ray coming up backwards. Ah, spotted ray. Nice one, too. Well, I set out for rays. I'm not on this rod. Never mind. We'll get him in. Have a look at him. There we go. What a lovely fish. Absolutely stunning. Light tackle as well, very light. It's a four to eight pound rod, so. Uh, yeah, what a beautiful fish. Gorgeous creatures. Right, we're getting back. Well, I set out for rays and got one. That's nice. Well, that's pretty nasty, to be honest. It does not feel like August, but uh, hey, hey, we'll carry on. One thing I will say is my angled out rod tubes working perfectly. It was one of the things that I was really looking for. Um, I just struggled with the 4.3 Ultra because you just couldn't use them to fish with. Uh, they were too tight into the boat and uh, too high. Whereas these are just about perfect. Uh, I can see each rod uh, out of the corner of my eye if I'm looking down or if I'm looking at one I can still see the other one so it's it's absolutely perfect which is a good thing because I don't think there's any room on the boat where I am uh, to put any rocket launchers on so convenient well, the rig that I caught it on is actually uh, the one that I've been using for Gurnard because there are sometimes a few round here which is always nice to catch um, so this wasn't the rod I was actually intending to go for rays on but never mind it's Pretty straightforward, a few beads and a uh, spoon in there. And then it, all the bait is, is squid tipped off with a little bit of mackerel on a 1-0 hook. And then I've got a couple of hooks further up, one with a squid head on it and the other with just another piece of uh, squid with a bit of mackerel tipped on it. So not very complicated. And obviously a free running ledger because we're on uh, open ground here. So very, very straightforward. And so far, doing all right. I didn't even have time to drop the other rod down and my light one's gone off again. This might be another ray actually, it's just a dogfish. I do love this light rod. What have we got? Oh, it's a dogfish. Oh well, never mind. Come out here, especially to get away from them. But what can you do? With any luck, he'll let himself go. <sighs> Little beggars. Please ignore the shipping forecast. I think we're into our second ray. Once again, on the lighter rod. Sitting in the water. It's one of those times where you look like a proper hero if anyone can see you because the rod is so light. Yep, it's not done yet. Yeah, that's another right. Oh, 
it's a nice one as well. Well, that was absolutely worth coming out for. What a lovely fish. Exactly what we're looking for. We'll get them back. Oh, it's nice to see a few of these around. Drop the rod down and see whether we can get a few more. Need a few bigger ones, I think. They are beautiful fish, though. Happy days! One thing I have noticed with the angled rod tubes is they do fill with water a little bit more easily than the previous kayak, but it's not a major issue. Uh, when I'm fishing, I don't really want to notice it. It's just when you get the kayak out and you turn it upside down, loads of water pours out. But I know. I think this might be a dogfish though. Well, that was indeed a dogfish, and after that, it was just constant dogfish. And the weather was pretty grim, and filming off that was pretty awful, so uh, I gave up and uh, headed back in. Uh, the only things that I would point out now are the hatches just here were absolutely brilliant. For the whole day, I had bait in one and uh, had the anchor uh, when it wasn't being used in the other, and it, they were just such perfect positions for it. Just made fishing really, really easy and you can flood them as well, um, so if you want to keep live bait in there, perfectly possible. The one thing I would say about the um, tubes on the side is they're not at a great angle for trolling. Uh, I think I'd probably want it a little bit shallower, and that's why I was hoping to be able to put uh, some rocket launches on. But I discovered that there's not really anywhere to put them on, um, so I think I'll just have to put up with having them at a slightly high angle for trolling. It only means that uh, diving lures don't dive down as deep as I would have liked it, particularly fishing for bass, but uh, I think it's a minor inconvenience compared to the advantages of being able to bait fish from these ones. Um, it, it's just such a nice boat to fish from. Um, I'm so happy that I did make the change. The Ultra is a great boat, but I just find that this suits my fishing so much better. Hopefully you found that useful. Uh, and I'll see you back on the water when the weather's a little bit more summery and hopefully we can get into a few more fish.